With 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Episode 9 being the most chaotic one thanks to Angela Deem, the week that followed was all about fans asked for her to be removed from TLC. Tired of Angela's consistent abusive antics and uncomfortable every time she breaks up with Michael on screen, fans took to social media to call her out for being a bully. Meanwhile, Natalie Mordetseva getting nose surgery was questioned by fans as Mike Youngquist was seen with a rumored new girlfriend. Jovi Dufresne and Yara Zaya bumped into a stripper at a kid's birthday party and 90 Day Fiancé co-star Tiffany Franco-Smith gave an update on her gastric balloon weight loss surgery. Controversial 90 Day Fiancé couple Andre Kastravit and Elizabeth Pothist gave fans a good belly laugh with their hilarious dance challenge reel. Kalani Fadiga confirmed she was still together with Asuelu Palaa by wishing him and Father Lo a happy Father's Day on Instagram. Here's a roundup of everything else that got TLC viewers talking about the 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, cast members off-screen. Angela Deem fires back at fans asking TLC to cancel her. Multiple fans have expressed their disdain at Angela Deem being a priority on 90 Day Fiancé despite her apparently abusive past with Michael and her antics on Episode 9 of HEA. Several TLC viewers dragged Angela through comments and wrote, Hash cancel Angela, while calling her a bully as they revisited her behavior from past tell-all reunions as well. To a blogger who asked who Angela would bully next on their post, Angela called an idiot, and asked them to, go to hell. The 90 Day Fiancé star also defended herself by saying TLC shows just two hours of footage from the 16 to 18 hours that are filmed, as she posted, hash cancel I'm not going nowhere idiot, and got mocked by fans asking Angela to, speak English correctly, instead. Yara Zaya loses fan support for thankless behavior with Gwen. With Jovi Dufresne away for his ROV supervisor job for three months on 90 Day Fiancé, happily ever after? Yara Zaya's loneliness is making her act mean to his mother Gwen. Episode 9 of HEA showed Yara getting COVID-19 and relying on Gwen to help her look after Mila, despite her insisting on being independent. However, episode 10 had Yara making both Gwen and Jovi's grandmother Barbara help her pack and move to a new home after her New Orleans lease had ended. Her problematic behavior made fans wonder if Yara is too much of a princess and why she's considered one of the best of cast members if all she's ever been to Gwen is bossy or irritated despite her privileges. Mike and Trish spotted with his rumored new girlfriend. While Natalie Mordetseva and Mike Youngquist are still together currently on 90 Day Fiancé. Happily ever after. Spoilers suggest she left him without telling on Christmas Eve 2020. Since then, Natalie has supposedly stayed in Seattle and now is in Florida, and also rumored to be dating a new man courtesy of 90 Day, The Single Life Season 2. Meanwhile, husband Mike has also moved on and was spotted on a hiking trip in Washington with a mystery blonde earlier this month. However, a Reddit fan happened to capture a video of Mike and Trish at the Seattle airport on a trip to San Jose, accompanied by a shorter blonde lady, who's supposed to be his new girlfriend. Julia flies back to Russia, answers questions about divorce from Brandon. When 90 Day Fiancé star Julia Trubkina recently posted a selfie on Instagram captioned, By America, I Go. Fans wondered if she was joking about going to Russia. But Julia did end up going back, alone, as Brandon posted lonesome stories with their dog on his own page. 
As Julia documented life back in Russia, including her spending time on a farm with her father, fans speculated she's left Brandon for good. But sassy Julia quickly dodged all the divorce rumors by claiming, Brandon is my soul, and how lucky she's to have him as her husband. The former go-go dancer Julia, who showcases her moves on 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, Episode 10, confirmed she was in Russia to meet her family and do important things. Quote.